So we need to talk about how to graph a piecewise defined function. Um, a piecewise defined function is set up in pieces. You've seen a couple of videos, hopefully, from Khan Academy. Um, and on my math lab, you will actually be able to pick out the graph. Um, this one's going to have a bit of a jump to it, so um, I wanted to do one like that. Um, the thing to pay attention to, since we have this absolute value of x on the portion where x is less than or equal to negative 3, you may want to go ahead and just graph out your x and y plane where you're starting here at negative 3. Okay, so at negative 3, if we're going anything less than negative 3, so this is for everything to the left of it, to the left of it, we're using y is equal to the absolute value of x. So if I make a table of values, for instance, for this section, this is going to be negative 3 goes in, I'm going to get out positive 3. If I put in negative 4, because that's another point on there, that's going to be positive 4, and so on. You can put whatever you want over here to the left of negative 3, and that's going to be what, what works for this. So let me put some y values up. So here at negative 3, we're going to be up at 3. At negative 4, we're going to be up at 4. If I plug in negative 5, same thing. We're going to have this portion of the absolute value of x. That's it. That's the only portion. Now, if I am looking at the this bottom line, x squared if x is greater than negative 3. Let me use orange. That's everything to the right here. Everything to the right of negative 3. Now, also, it can't be equal to negative 3, so we've got to take that into account. Um, this is the x squared. So when I'm making my table of values at negative 3, I know I'm going to be up at 9 right? So if I'm going to be up at 9, um, the thing to remember is this is going to be an open dot because it's not equal to here. So if I am doing another point, so let's say another one would be at 0. 0 squared is going to be 0. If I, I put in 1, I'm going to be at 1. So let's plug, plot these points and graph it. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here we are, we're up at 9. All right, so at negative 3, I'm going to be all the way up here at 9. There's an open dot. At, if I were to put in negative 1, I'm going to be at 1 here. At 0, I'm here. And then at 1, I'm going to be up at 1. If I were to put in a positive 3, I would be all the way up here at 9. Okay, so let's see if I can do this on my, let's see if I can graph it. So here I am, and then these aren't the best. Uh, my tablet is kind of wonky. <laughs> um, but this is the graph. You know, here at negative 3, it really only exists at, for the absolute value of x. However, we do need a spot to hold it, hold it right here. Um, this brings up what our domain and range will be. The domain are the x values. And if you notice, if I'm looking at my x values all along the x-axis, everything's okay, even at negative 3 where there's this jump it's still okay because it, it, it is darkened here um, at positive 3. Y is positive 3. It's darkened. And then the only other pro point that would be weird would be this open dot, but there is a 9 there. So, um, or no, I'm thinking of the y-axis now, but here, yeah, for this point, for the x's, negative 3 exists. Everything, everything exists along the, that. So, our domain for this function is going to be negative infinity to infinity, which means all reals. 
You could also write um, that funny R on your paper. It makes it um, strange looking, but that's our symbol for all real numbers in math. Okay, just that funny R. Now the range is going to be a little strange, but remember it's um, always going to be the Y values. So um, if I'm thinking of the Y values, I am i don't have anything down here, but then I start right here at zero. So I know that Y is going to be greater than or equal to zero. And then the only other problem point would be here at nine, potentially. But turns out, since it, it's actually here, we're good to go. And we can just go everything greater than zero. So that would be zero to infinity. So I hope that helps. Um, I know this takes it a little further than what your my math lab is asking. I just want you to have this information for your future reference. Thank you.